So we're going to go through a few of these questions over the next few days. We're going to work our way through this little review, new dealio quiz thingy. So you're going to try numbers one, two, and three right now and go. Number one, the lunch special, special, feel like I can. at a sandwich <laughs> bar offers you a choice of six sandwiches, four salads, six drinks, three desserts. How many different meals are possible if you choose one item from each category? If I choose one item from each category, I can use what? The fundamental counting principle. You just didn't want to say the first part in time. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So we can do the blanks. One, two, three, four. So this would be sandwiches. How many? Six. Six. And then we would have four. salads. And we'd have four. And then we'd have drinks. Six. And we'd have desserts, which is? Three, and then what do we do with all of them? Multiply. Why are we multiplying? Because it's and. Because it's and. You are winning with your pizza today. You know, you start off rough, but you're really bringing it back there. Because right. you need a sandwich and a salad and a drink and a dessert. Not a sandwich. Yeah, you do. You need one of each. It doesn't have to say and. If it wants one of each category, that means you need a sandwich and a salad and a dessert and a drink. Okay. If you said or, you would add, but you don't want one. You don't want a sandwich or a salad. You want one of each. So it's and. Which is how much? Uh, 432. Okay, let's look at B. Suppose a word is a string, any string of letters. A word permutations or combinations? Thank you. The permutation, because order matters. When order matters, it's permutation. Words are permutations because order matters. If not, Cody, you could be Dokoi, and we'd be the same name, which is not. Okay. So, it's a permuta permutation. How many three-letter words? This is the key thing here, because sometimes we do the whole word, sometimes we don't. How many three-letter words from Regina? If you do not repeat any letters, Regina doesn't have any doubling or tripling letters. So, we can either go three blanks, because it's not repeating, and it's permutation, right? So how many options do I have for the first blank? Six, ten, five, then four. how else could I represent it? Is that like you could have four and three So you have six P oh, three because of the three blanks, yeah? Yeah. And what is that? One hundred and twenty. How many different arrangements can be used in none of it? So this way it's the whole word, right? N U N A B U T. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and go seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. Right. Now, what did I tell you you should probably do first? Write down the two divided by two factorial, right? Because if we do those first, then we won't forget them. We agree? So what's the answer? Yeah. Now I want you to do number three, but I want you to have the vowels together. Go. Number three with the vowels together. So we have seven letters. First thing I'm going to do is two factorial, two factorial. This doesn't fit this one, right? This question's done. I just gave you a separate question with this question, right? So keeping none of it vowels together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So totally this has nothing to do with this question other than I'm using the word none of it, right? So Cody, what do we do? Which is how many of them though? Okay. And then we have? Three, two. <laughs> and then, how many are left? I'm helping you out here. Good thing your voice is muffled. Four, three, two, one. Yep. Five, five, five. 
Times by five. Times by five, why? <laughs> nope. It's not why, because you just do C. Why? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah. Hunter's answer. Sorry? The biggest number is four. Yes, the biggest number is four. So we always do one more, and we can move the, that three, two, one, five spot. Right? Yeah. Is that the D? Yeah. No. It's so close. No. Mm -hmm. Work on number four, and then we're going to go to combinations. How many different arrangements of the word Calgary must be in with the G? C A L G A R Y. So we need to divide by two factorial because the two A's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it has to begin with the G, which is one option, then six, five, four. Which is three, six. So, for extension one, we did this one already, but in a meeting, everyone shakes hands with everybody else. So, remember, we know that this is a handshake. We know that order doesn't matter because it doesn't matter which hands come first, right? So, it's a handshake. Order doesn't matter, so we know it's a C. It's a combination. Now, how many hands do we choose at once to shake? Two. Two. So, that's going to be our second number. That's what we did before. Now it says there are 66 handshakes in total. So I gave you what it was equal to. And then I said how many people were in the meeting. So we did an N, right? So we got what? Oh. Oh. I heard twice and I was like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Thought it was 12. Okay, so how many people were in the meeting? We said there were 12 people in the meeting and we made sure that we wrote... Um, there were 12 people in the meeting in order for each person to shake everyone's hands once, right? Now, this is a new extension. So there exists a circle with six closed dots on the circumference. So there exists a circle, so I'm going to sketch one, with six closed dots on the circumference. One, two, three, four, five, six. They can be widespread, they can be close together, it doesn't really matter. There's just six dots on the circumference, right? How many triangles can be formed using the three dots? Using the three, using the six dots. So how many dots are there total? Six. Six. Is that equal to six, or is that how many I'm choosing from? How many I'm choosing from? So it's six, and it's either going to be a C or six, and it's going to be a P. This is going to be our problem. We're going to have to decide: does order matter or not? How many of those dots do we choose at a time to make a triangle? Three. Three. Now, does, so it's going to be this one or this one. Three. Does the order matter in which I make those dots? So that's pick those dots. So that's what it has to. You have to think. Does the order matter? Does it make a different triangle? Yes. Well, no. 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 <laughs> if I pick the dots in this order for this triangle, or I pick them in this order for this triangle, or I pick them in this order for this triangle, did I get a different triangle? No, but I still use the same three dots. So does order matter? Ooh. No. So it's not this one. Now remember, I could write this as this as well, couldn't I? For a C. You can write it in a blank in brackets like that for a C. And it only is for a C that you can do that. <coughs> Correct? Mm -hmm. So what's 6C3? 20? So how many triangles can be formed using the six dots? There are 20 triangles. That can be formed. Using three dots, using the six dots. I mean. Can't short form our sentences, especially on the diploma. We need to write them fully so that we get all of our marks. Okay? What is our diploma? January 8th. 
15th, I thought. Oh, what happened? No, it's that 22nd, 23rd. It's the Wednesday yeah. after the last day of class. What happened to this course? Uh, all day. It's not that good. We have. So we have every team in a league plays every other team three times. Every team in a league plays every other team three times. Now that doesn't mean every other team, like they do play this one, don't play this one. They mean every other team. So like, just not themselves. They play every other team three times. How many teams are in the league if they play a total of 198 games? So, they gave us the total, we know that at least. With games, I always treat it as a C. And I make order not matter so that it only does them each playing every other team once. Okay? So we're paying attention so we don't get this wrong. So we're putting a C because we're making them play each other once. Okay? How many teams are in the league? They're asking us for N. We don't know how many teams are in the league. They're making us find that. We need to figure out how many they want us to choose at a time. So, this is the key thing. This is a sport. Let's pretend this is hockey. How many teams play each other at once? Two. Two. So, we have X number of teams, and we're choosing two to play each other. Right? The only time that's not a two is if in, there are some sports, and you have to, you have to understand this, because sometimes it's not a two. So, with the triangle one, it was a three, right? Sometimes there's sports that play three teams at once, and we've Googled it. I think there's a soccer team that plays like <laughs> three oh, teams against each other at a time. So in that case, this wouldn't be a two. This would be a three. NC2, I told you, represents everyone playing each other how many times? Once, right? So NC2 represents everyone playing each other's, every other team once. This particular question says every team in the league plays every other team how many times? Three. Three. So what am I going to have to do with this? Multiply this by three. So then, I'm still not going to do NC2 over and over and over. What do I have to do first? Solve this. Yes. Divide over the three. And I get NC two equals sixty-three. Is it sixty-six? Yeah. Or divide by three, not six. Come on. I was trying to do it in my head, but I divided by six after the three. So now we have to figure out NC2 equals 66. Is it 12? Yeah. So how many teams are in the league? There are 12 teams in the league. I personally would star these three because they're the ones that everyone forgets about. They're the questions that everyone forgets how to do. So I would highlight them or star them because they're the most forgot about. And they happen on the diploma and you're just you like, yeah, I remember doing these, but you don't remember how to do them. Okay, so we're going to star them and remember them. All right. Okay, so side note before we do this question, we're going to do a side question. Just to remember what we did on Friday. So here there's 12 adults and 18 kids on a program planning committee. They're making a smaller group of five people that need to decide on themes. Does this committee have any jobs or anything? You don't want to go right now. You can go, but you probably don't want to. Okay. So on this committee, do they have jobs or anything, those five people? 
Did it say they have anything? How many different ways can a smaller group subcommittee consist of? Does it have anything about jobs or no. anything in there? No. No. So does order matter? No. No. It's going to be a C. So we're going to go on a side page here for a second. You don't have to write this. You just can pay attention. So I have 12 adults and 18 kids. And I need a five-person subcommittee. We agree? Yes. No jobs here. So if that's all I asked, if that's what I gave you and I said I need a five-person subcommittee, how could we do this question? 30C5. Exactly, 30C5. Because I don't care if they're kids or adults. I just want a five-person subcommittee, right? So if I don't say with exactly two kids or three adults, I go 30C5. Total C5, right? Now, what happens, though, if it's the exact same thing, 12 adults, 18, 18 kids, and I say I need two adults, and three kids. Then what would I do? Does order matter? No, it doesn't because there's no jobs. So are there still jobs? Has jobs appeared since last time we talked about this question? Nope, still no jobs. So no matter what question I ask you, no matter how many I ask for, it's going to be C, the full question, right? Not changing. <coughs> We're going to go 12 adults, C2, and means I do what? Multiply. Multiply. And then 18, C3, right? That's if I wanted 12 adults and three kids. We agree? Okay, yeah. what happens if I do this? Sorry, two adults, three is. What if I say exactly one kid? What if I ask for it in that way? You have to have four adults. This is the one that people get wrong on the test every single time. Because if I say exactly one kid, people will give me this as the answer. 18C1. One kid. And that answer will be there. Okay, they say 18 C1. The problem is how many people need to be on this committee? Five. So I actually need one kid and four adults. You need to supplement. So you need to go through and see, oh, I need a five-person subcommittee. Every time I do this question, no matter what's asked of me, I better have five people on it, right? So if I say exactly one kid, I need four adults. So I do 18C1 times 12C4. I want you guys to try this one on your own, and then we're going to move on to the harder one. So exactly four kids. Don't say it out loud. Just try it on your own. I want a sub five-person subcommittee with exactly four kids. So if we get exactly four kids, that means four kids and what? One adult. Really going rough, rough. Adult. <laughs> okay, so we have 12C4 and is multiplied. And nope, kids are 18. Yep. 18C4 times 12C1. What do we get for an answer? 36,720. Okay, 36,720 different cases, okay? So that's if it's exactly this many kids, exactly this many teachers or adults or whatever we're talking about out here. Um, it could be teachers and principals, right? And we ask for teachers, X number of teachers and X number of principals, then it's a C. So if it's teachers from teachers, principals from principals, students from students, um, kids from kids, adults from adults, forwards from forwards, defense from defense, anything like that, it's a C. Because the order doesn't matter. You're, they, the job they have is to be defense, and you're picking defense. So you're not giving them a specific job, they already have one. Okay? So this is where it goes differently. This is where we get standard of excellence question. So it's the same question, 
But now I'm saying at least for adults. At least. So we're going to think of this like money. We walk into um, a store and I say to buy anything in here, you need at least four dollars. What do you need? What does that mean though? A minimum of four dollars. So four dollars or more, right? That's what at least four means. You guys can do it with money, but then when I give it like this, you do it the opposite way every single time. So always when you're using the word at least or at most, think of it as money. So if I need at least four adults, that means I need four or more adults. And in this case, what does that actually mean? How many people are on my subscreen? Five. Five. So I need four or more, which is four or five. And then I have to stop there, right? Because I can't have a six-person subscreen. So I need cases. This is my case one. I have four adults. What's the problem with this case? I need another person because I need to have a how much person subcommittee? Five. five. So every case I make with at least or at most better have five people on it because I need to have a five person subcommittee. Okay, so I need four adults and one kid. Or, bless you, between cases I always have or because I'm either going to have this case or I'm going to have another case, which means in between I'm going to do what to them? Add them. So I have case one, and then I have case two, which is five adults. Do I need to say and zero kids? No. Is that going to change it? No. And now we just do it like we did before. It doesn't change it or anything. Okay? We're going to go bracket. Eight. Nope, there's 12 adults. 12, choose four. Didn't change to a P because we still don't have jobs for these things, right? We still don't have jobs for the kids or the adults. It's just a five-person subcommittee, so it's a C. So we have 12C4 and is multiply 18C1. Or means I add, and then I start a new case, and I start with all my adults again. How many adults are there? In total to choose from? Wow. And I choose five. Everyone practice typing this in, please. Okay, did anyone get the answer so everyone can see if they got it? 9702. 9702. Is that it? So there's 9,702 different cases where we can make a five person subcommittee with at least four adults, right? which went four or more. Does that make sense? Then we're going to flip over to the next one. You may not have to flip. I don't remember. Okay. At least one adult. So this one here is at least one adult. At least one dollar means what if I go to the bank or I go to the store? At least one dollar. Minimum of dollars. One dollar or more. And it includes that one dollar, right? It's equal to. So it's one or more. You might notice that this is going to be awfully long. One or more, right? So I need one adult. What else do I need with this one adult? And four kids. And four kids, or two adults, and three kids, or three adults, and four kids. I'm getting lazy and struggling. Yep, that's seven. Yep, <laughs> you can't. Two kids, or four adults, and one kid, or five adults. Can we take a break before we finish this? No, because the other half is going to keep going. It's just never going to be ending. Yeah. So, we have 12C1 
times 18c4 plus 12c2 times 18c3 plus 12c3 times 18c2 plus 12c4 times 18c3. Nine three eight. Yeah. One hundred thirty three thousand nine hundred thirty eight. Oh, great. I think so. Kind of question the first Okay. C says at most two adults. So if I needed at most two dollars when I went to a store, I would need two or one or zero. It'd be two or less, right? If you can't forget the zero case. So the at most cases, people forget the zero. So I need two adults or one adult or no adults. Try that one out. Just so it's done. So this is going to be two adults and three kids or one adult and five kids. Nope, four kids. Or zero adults and five kids. So it's 12C2 times 18C3 plus 12C1 times 18C4. Plus, do I have to put the zero? No. If I put it, would I be wrong? Yes. No? no. I can go 12C0 and that's just one. 18C5. What's the answer? I got 99144. That is it. I have a question. 